So I got the question the other day, why does Mantle do so many activities outside in the community versus just selling properties like other real estate companies? Well, I'm here to answer those questions. First of all, we do that because of others who gave back to us. Uh, whenever I was growing up, I got chill bumps even talking about this. When I was growing up, I can still remember Bob Neal Pontiac at GMC providing t-shirts for me as a football player. I still have some of those t-shirts in my closet 25 years ago uh, from conference championships or, you know, practice um, t-shirts that they just sponsored. So that's the reason why we give away a lot of t-shirts to a lot of communities. So if your team's won a conference championship, reach out to us. I about guarantee you we're gonna go make t-shirts for you. Uh, Cause we just enjoy giving back to the community and it's something that is near and dear to my heart personally. Now with some of our other events, I have no clue how or why some of these things got started. Prime Project, for example, we had an agent, Ashley Weitzel, who's no longer with us, a great friend of ours that said, hey, I think we need to start giving away prom dresses. There's so many people, you can't really sell them, and they're so expensive. Why don't we just collect prom dresses and give them away? So our mantra is, if we give to the community, and we go love on the community, and we do things that are near and dear to us, so prom project, uh, giving away Halloween costumes sort of morphed off of the prom project, our community will come and support us because they know we're gonna go give back our time and effort. Right now, I spend 10% of my weekends automatically every single year going to go do events. Uh, just the weekends, like they are book solid. So if you think about that, that's what makes us a little bit different over here. We care about our clients because we're in the communities that we serve. So what we tell our agents is, is if you've got a community service project that's near and dear to you, well, let's go do it. Let's figure out a way to actually go help out people. So another thing we do, my mom, my grandma, my sister, all some kind of educators, most of them were teachers. My wife was a school teacher at Oak Grove Middle School, very first home ec teacher. So one thing that we do, we go feed teachers during Teacher Appreciation Week. Uh, we've got a couple people that are in the police departments and the firefighters, so sometimes we go and feed firefighters and police departments and just go love on people as that. Uh, I was really big in sports in high school, so what do I go do? I like to go love on kids at, at sports programs. Um, that's the reason why you'll see us at multiple schools. We don't just try to stick to one school or another. Uh, just because we're across the street from North Davidson and our welcome office doesn't mean that's the only school that we support. Our agents are across the board from anywhere from Mebane all the way down to Charlotte, Reedsville, uh, even got one in Hickory. So we've got different people sponsoring different schools. It's not just one school. So we like to go love on people and just give back to them. We like to give them the wow situation of, hey, Here's some for free and they just don't know why. They don't use us as a, their realtor. We don't really care. We just want to love on them and give back to everybody inside of our community. So that's the reason why we do the trunk or treats and the parades and give away so many candies and uh, water bottles on 4th of July in Kernersville. We just want to give back to our community and love on them because we know that you guys are going to support us. And we also want to say right now, just thank you for all the support. Um, it's been amazing absolutely amazing what Kernersville's community has gave us some support from just a couple outreaches that we've had in the past six, nine months over there. Uh, so we just want to say thank you for that. And we were able to give away about 250 prom dresses and we still have about 500 put up in a trailer right now. So we've got all these extra prom dresses. We're still going to collect prom dresses. We're going to still collect Halloween costumes. We're actually just, you know, hoarding up so we can actually give them all away again. So right now, if you still have prom dresses, Halloween costumes, and you're going through your stuff for spring cleaning, send them to us. We'll come get them. We've got buckets sitting outside of every single one of our office so you can donate to us. But we just want to say thank you and we love you for all that you guys are doing for your community too, because we couldn't do any of this without you.